Yo, what's up? Bringing you that on Moby Dodge Show 18. So we completed another collection. This time, the Bats Autograph Collection. Yesterday, I posted the Hats Collection, but I ended up doing that one last week. I just posted it yesterday. But for this week, we got the Bat Autographs. And I think this is actually a good collection to do, and I'll explain why. So getting right into the rewards, you get a universal profile pack. Like I've said, I think these are useless. The new legend you get is a 77 overall Jay Buhner, and he has decent contact numbers, but his power numbers are pretty good. 86 first righties and 80 verse lefties. He has 47 vision, and then he has okay fielding at 62, 85 arm, arm strength, and then 72 arm accuracy. He also has that Team Epic Mariners version, which is the diamond. So there is a better version already out for this Jay Buhner, but it's not a bad silver card that you can use if you need them in events or maybe in like Battle Royale, something like that. Then you get a Souvenirs Pack, another new legend in Alan Trammell, 83 overall breakout series card. He has 89 contact versus righties, 77 versus lefties, 42 power versus righties, and 36 versus lefties. So he has good contact numbers. Pretty low power numbers, 93 vision, which is pretty good. And then he has great fielding stats, 85 fielding, 75 arm strength, 83 arm accuracy, 80 reaction, and 73 speed. So he's definitely a better fielder than maybe hitting. I mean, he does have good contact numbers, so his hitting stats are not bad. But he definitely is a much better fielder than hitter. Not a bad card, though, at an 83 gold. Then you get an autograph pack, a souvenirs pack. A bobblehead Willie Stargell, which can be used for the bobblehead collection, obviously. Then two more universal profile packs. I I'm not a fan of these. I've, I've said this before, but if they're going to give us universal profile packs, which you can't even sell or make stubs out of, the XP and stub rewards that come with this should be a little bit higher. Then you get a Willie Stargell autographed baseball, which can be used for the collections. And then the main reward is a postseason legend, Willie Stargell, 90 overall. Has 91 contact versus righties, 72 versus lefties, 100 power versus righties, and 102 versus lefties. So he has amazing power numbers. He's also pretty good against righties in general. He's not even bad versus lefties. Then he has the 62 vision, 61 fielding, 61 arm strength, 62 arm accuracy, and then 27 speed. So bronze fielding, his fielding's not really that great, but he does play first base, and he should be fine there. But his hitting numbers are definitely very, very good. 100 plus power. Should be hitting a lot of home runs, hopefully, for us. But this is a pretty good card. A 1979 postseason card. 39 years old during that time. So this is a pretty nice card for sure. And then you get the program souvenir. And I've said this with the hats collection. I'm hoping this souvenir will be useful for something in the future. I'm not really sure. But if, if it is, then we have it done. Now, there is 29 autograph bats. When I just did the calculation, they were going for 100K. I definitely did not spend 100K on this. I spent around 70 to 80K, but there's 29 of these, and I'm going to explain why I think this is a good collection to do, but we're just going to redeem this real quick so we can have this done, get 100%, and then get our Willie Stargell card and our program souvenir card. But this is definitely... A solid program a solid collection to do because not only do you get a diamond but these 29 bats that I think are gonna be useful for this right here so let me just go right to our inventory real quick so now that you have 29 bats you're probably wondering what I'm gonna do with these and hopefully you don't have to use these for something in the future now if you were to quick sell one you only get 600 studs you definitely don't want to do that what you want to do is go here to the exchange missions and use the souvenirs to jumbo pack exchange you get a diamond bobblehead a diamond autograph baseball two gold bobbleheads and two autograph baseballs this is a pretty good exchange for this so i'll try to do a quick example of this but one diamond bat is 3160 exchange value and you need 4000 but you have 29 bats so you're going to get 29 gold bobbleheads 29 autograph baseballs that are gold 58 gold bobbleheads and then 58 gold autograph baseballs that is definitely a lot but let's see if we have something right here i think i have quite a few baseballs because i kind of pre-planned this and also was trying to do some exchanges for other things so we have three baseballs right here i think we need five or six overall 
So let me f try to find some more real quick. So you can do this two different ways. If you did six baseballs, you are a little bit over the value. Or you can do five baseballs and then put in three bronze hats. It doesn't really matter. I think you're only losing like 30 or so stubs if you do it this way. But we're just going to do the six autographed baseballs. And that is going to give us a jumbo pack. So now we redeem this. We're going to go ahead and open it up. Not that we really expect anything good, but all of this stuff can be used for something else. So we get these baseballs that we definitely can use and then the bobblehead. So this is what you want to do afterwards because this is just part of the process. So now that we have the items that we just opened, you want to come back to the exchange missions. And these three right here, are, I think, are the best ones. The souvenirs to bronze hats, the souvenirs to silver jerseys, and then the souvenirs to gold jerseys. You can pretty much make your stubs back with the items that we just opened up. But for this bronze hat one right here, this was probably the biggest reason that I did the hats collection so I can come back and then just do hat exchanges. And it's worked out pretty well for us. I think we've done all the career arcs hat exchanges just by doing this method. You need one bobblehead and three bronze hats and then you get 10 hats back. Good method and you can make some stubs out of that. For the souvenirs to silver jerseys, you need two gold bobbleheads and a bronze hat, and you get five silver jerseys. Definitely can make a good amount of stubs from that. And then for the souvenirs to gold jerseys, you need three bobbleheads, three gold bobbleheads, then a baseball, autographed baseball, and a hat, and you can get three gold jerseys and make some stubs from that. But just taking a look at this. So for what we just got, we got two gold bobbleheads. I don't even remember what gold bobbleheads we have, but we do have some extras here that we can show. Like I said, we're getting 58 bobbleheads. So we're going to take two bobbleheads and then just pick a bronze hat that we need or don't need and put it into ex the exchange value. And we're going to exchange for souvenirs for silver jerseys. And if we just keep doing this, we're going to get a ton of stubs back. For my calculation, we should get 100k stubs back. And just looking at this right now, like that A's jersey right now is a pretty good one that we just got so now that we got those five jerseys just taking a look at the souvenirs once again silver jerseys we have the athletics like that's a big one that we got it's going for like 400 stars right now sometimes it goes up to 500 but that is a big one to get the red Sox are pretty big the dodgers the cubs and the marlins like those are the big five and then the rest of them pretty much go for over 200 you should never get like lower than 170 i think like that's the lowest i would sell unless it's like the diamondbacks or the rays because those you don't really need those jerseys but most of these jerseys go for a pretty big price now you have 58 bobbleheads which means you're gonna do 29 trade-ins and each time you get five jerseys you're gonna get 145 jerseys silver jerseys to exchange get those stubs and you probably will get my calculation right here you're getting at least 24k back and you can do this with the diamond bobbleheads that you got exchange those the two gold autograph baseballs and the diamond autograph baseball so if you exchange all those back into this and just do this method exchanging for either hats the silver jerseys or the gold jerseys you should get 80 to 100k back maybe even more you're gonna have to obviously like for this jumbo one, you're going to have to buy some more items because you need to get the other things. Like I showed you the six autograph baseballs, that works, or five autograph baseballs and three hats. If you do that, you'll get some jumbo packs. But with these 29 jumbo packs that you're getting, you're going to make a good amount of stubs back. So that's what I recommend doing. That's why I think this is a good collection to do because it essentially ends up being a free diamond because you're going to get this diamond in Willie Stargell, which is definitely not a bad card at all. And then you pretty much get your stubs back. So just taking a look at the bats once again, because I mentioned they go for like around 80 to 100K. Like right now it's going for like 100K. But when I did it, like I never spent more than 2,500 stubs. Right now you see like 3.8, 4. The Goldschmidt normally goes pretty high for some reason. But for these... My best tip for you is to put in orders at nighttime. When I was doing that, I put my orders in at nighttime and they were going for 2 to 2.5K, which made it definitely much cheaper than what it seems like right now. So that's my number one tip if you're going to be doing 
these orders is to do it at nighttime because for some reason the prices are just lower during the day they're extremely high going for three to four k and if you care about your stubs you definitely don't want to be spending that much like look at this right now 25k if you can get that that would be pretty nice but yeah you definitely want to do this and get your diamond and Whitley Stargell, which I think is a pretty good card. And then do all these exchange missions. Try to get your stubs back. I'm pretty sure you will get your stubs back for doing these exchange missions. And that's the way to go. So now that we got all these bats, we got our Willie Stargell. Nice diamond. We will be debuting him pretty soon. Hopefully tomorrow. That's what I'm planning on. But maybe later in this week. I'm not really sure. But we definitely will be trying him out. But since we got these bats, we're going to do our exchange missions. Hopefully, we can get a good amount of our stubs back. And then for this week, maybe into next week, what we're going to be working on is getting these jersey collections done. So we can get even more progress done for the career arcs and the immortals. But let me know what you guys think about Willie Stargell if you guys have already gotten him. If you know about this method, because it definitely is very good. If you want not just a diamond, but to pretty much get your stubs back it essentially Ends up being a free diamond. That's what it should be and that's what I'm hoping it is for us But yeah, that is gonna do it for this one. Thank you guys for watching and I'm out